Hi there, Ellie here. So uh, a lot of you have been asking uh, a question of how to download and how to uh, configure and integrate the uh, JudgeMe app. Now, this is going to be the same logic with any review app itself as well as other apps just in general. So I'm gonna uh, show this on the demo store. As of right now, um, we don't have a review right here. We don't have any reviews, uh, review apps or anything going on right here. So ideally, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go into my app store and I'm going to go in and start typing in judge me. You can start typing in judge me or judge and it will populate already. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's going to be the uh, product review app and not the AliExpress reviews, unless you are using it through AliExpress. But the product reviews, I'm just gonna go in and add this here. <clears throat> It's gonna go in, take a little bit, and bring this over to uh, bring this uh, dashboard over to you. Then we're going to go in and install it. If you ever want to see what it looks like, you can just click on View Demo Store, and it's gonna give you what it's supposed to look like here. Uh, mm. So let's go in and install it so you can just see what uh, what the steps are. So I'm going to go in and it says install app. Yes, they're going to uh, get your customer, store owner, content, provi uh, content providers, all this information. I usually just say yes, but there are some things that you do want to look for in their terms uh, when installing an app. You don't just want to go and install an app uh, before you read their terms of service. Um, so I'm going to do English. I'm going to apply to my current theme, which is always going to be uh, the live theme. Uh, but you do have the option uh, to install it on other themes as well, um, all the other draft themes. So usually uh, I do, you do want to install it on the live theme, and that's what the default means. So I'm going to click Start Setup, and then you can go in and enable, uh, enable App Embed. Um, so I'm going to click on that, and it's going to bring me into the theme editor here. Uh, so notice how right over here, uh, it's already toggled for me, so that's great. If you don't know where this is or how it's being toggled, you're going to go outside of your theme editor, customize, and in app, in, in the, um, I'm sorry, in the app embeds, you're just going to uh, turn, uh, turn this on and toggle it on. So I saved it, um, and now it's uh, integrated there. I'm going to go back into this part, app embed enabled, so that's great. You don't got to do really anything else here. Um, I'm just going to skip this um, and then skip. We can go into this all later on as well. Finish, uh, automatic reviews. These are all settings that you do have the option to go back and change out if you want. So I'm going to go and click finish. And then after all of this, if you do have uh, reviews from other uh, platforms like uh, Luke's or Smile, whatever it may be, you can always import them or you can also explore um, Judge Me and just the documentation and whatever it may be. Um, so I'm going to pin this because I always love pinning my apps, uh, the most common apps that I use, so I don't have to go and sift through them. Going into Judge Me here, uh, let's just see if this has been enabled. No, it's not completely. I did toggle it on, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on a, uh, a product here, a, demi, a demo product, and I'm going to go back into my sections here. At the very bottom, you have the option. Uh, let's just scroll down to the very bottom, and I kind of wanted to lay towards the very bottom of the last sections to be displayed, so I'm going to add the section. Now remember, it's not sections within the theme itself. These are apps. So I'm going to head over to the apps where it says I have 10. And you do have now the options to add a widget, carousel, review text, section for medals, UGC, media, uh, grid, and all of these other uh, app options within that certain app, judge me. Um, now they do display differently and some things are paid. Uh, so what I like to do is just do like the typical one, which I believe would be the, um, the widget itself. So I'm just going to do the widget and then from here it should populate after Shopify updates. Now you will see this and this is what it will look like. You can go into the app and kind of customize the, uh, the colors and maybe if you are more advanced, the fonts, whatever it may be. Uh, uh, actually inside the app itself. Um, now, I'm going to go in and click Save. Now, don't fret about this. In the theme editor itself, it's going to say, this is a sample review to demonstrate Judge Me review widget. This is not what customers are going to see. Customers are not going to see this dummy Lorem Ipsum text or anything like that. This is just a sample of what it's going to look like. So when I go outside of the theme editor, let's just go and uh, view this, and I'll go onto that product here. We'll just go onto this and scroll at the very bottom. It's gonna be empty. So it looks like this empty because there are no reviews yet. 
If you already do have pre-existing reviews, you can import them and then it will take about five to six uh, hours for it to adjust and display here. Um, so again, this is what it looks like, uh, just you know, bare bones, but inside the theme editor, this is what it'll look like when customers do leave a review. Um, now let's go back into, let's say the app itself. Uh, I go into apps, judge me, and under that there are like five different you know, drop downs that you can choose from. Manage reviews, collect reviews, the widget itself, the styling of it uh, right over here. This is indicating that this style is installed. We already uh, see it, and then we can also customize it here. And then marketing, social, and general settings itself. This is where you can put in your general settings, your English, uh, what kind of font style for, uh, for the date, um, and then also multi-language store and uh, judge me early user program right here. From here, we have uh, pick a plan. I'm on the free plan. Judge me, does, uh, judge me does have a free plan, and it's amazing for the free plan if you do uh, just want to, uh, you know, uh, gather some reviews, but you don't want to, you know, um, make the first initial investment to pay $15 or whatever it may be uh, for, for, their, um, for the review app. Um, now, the pay plan, of course, as you uh, pay for, you do get more perks like uh, adding, allowing and adding videos and images as well as filtering out dates, things like that. So that's something to take, uh, take in consideration when you're uh, upgrading to the awesome plan of it. Here, you can choose your branding. Um, remember when I showed you here, this is this like teal color default. It's always that as a default of it. We can always change it to whatever you know brand color we have. And then your store URL, and this is where all the other settings go. Now, if it is muted, just know that it is not offered in the free plan. That is what it indicates. Now, if you do want to upgrade, they will not be a muted option. Um, they will be actually for you to select, customize, and go into. Uh, and then integrations this is where you can um, integrate and notifications uh, you can get you can uh, have notifications sent to you uh, to your email provider. Uh, but that is the main gist of how to install and integrate uh, Judge Me. And again, this works with any uh, any review app logic to integrate to your theme. Thank you.